Legend has it that long ago, the Red Dragon fought Titan, the incarnation of darkness, to preserve the peace of planet Arnia. Then, one fateful day, Titan used deception and tricked people into attacking the Red Dragon while it slept. The shattered body of Red Dragon was transformed into thousands of pieces of light. They were scattered to every corner of the world and became the Battle Discs. Realizing their mistake, the people trembled with fear over the terrible sin they'd committed and swore a sacred oath to resurrect the dragon by seeking out and collecting all the Battle Discs wherever they might be in the world. Beyond the Legend, Battle in the World of Myth! That's the question, isn't it? Gairu! Wait, you're out here too? Yeah, all of us are here. Aw oh, man, my body is aching everywhere. So what happened to us back there? Great! Everyone's okay then! Based on these plants, it doesn't appear that we're very far from where the Academy is right now. We'd better check the time. Is it broken? No but time itself just may be. What happened in here? We were under orders from Lord Orbiton. Recovery of the battle disks has been going slowly. Yes, my lord. We believe most have been taken by the Academy cadets. And the Gravi data? By using gravitons produced from the singularity in the Cave of Time, time travel can be made possible, my lord. Then we have to change the plan immediately. Using the Gravi data, my duplicates must be transported to the Age of Myth. Once there, it will wait until the very moment that the soldiers under Titan's control move in and destroy the Red Dragon. Then, it will recover all of the battle disks at once. I see. Unfortunately, we encountered a troubling issue as we were conducting the time transit of Orbiton's duplicant. Break! Return! Orbiton! You won't escape! One hero was sent into the past, quite unexpectedly. Also, four children from the Academy appeared and accidentally activated the Gravidator, sending them into the past as well. Please forgive this error. <laughs> now it's much more interesting. Sir, 
Are you able to pinpoint the exact location where the cadets were transported? That is possible. Then transport me to that place as well. That's where I'll find them and finish them off. Come on, let's go check out the area. Huh? Hey, we've seen that before, haven't we? We have? I guess maybe you're right. But it used to look a lot older than this. Oh, right. Let's go check it out. Hold on a sec. What are those things? Let's get ready for them! Donikon! Donikon! Now! Fireball! Whoa! What's wrong? Disc monster! No, Volkai, wait! What's going on here? These guys aren't our enemies. I'll go over there and talk to them. Huh? Be careful. Look out, Gairu. They've got weapons. Have one of those. Because just like you, I am also from Iru. Uh. Hurry, send me there now. By your command, sir. It's there. I see it clearly. Time and space stretching out before me. According to this scanner... Yes, I made it. I'm in precisely the same space-time as they are. Why am I the only one of us who's got a ride like this? Forgive us. We've no room for you up here. The three of us come from the land of Aidu, and it is our solemn duty to protect the Red Dragon, who dwells within the temple with our very lives. But we know nothing of any use like yourselves. Are you truly of our land? Why do you have that crest? Uh, uh? I can assure you all that I am from Aidu, and that we've come here directly from the Heroes Academy. Heroes Academy? What is that? Wait, so they've never even heard about the place before? We go there for intensive training and learn to use battle discs. Battle discs? Wait a second, haven't you heard the legend? Each of them were made from a small piece of the red dragon. <clears throat> Yungo! Huh? <sighs> you have revealed yourselves. We know exactly who you are now. You are the ones from the prophecy who have come to harm the red dragon. You wanted us to let our guard down so that you could get close to the temple. Was that your plan? Come on, are you kidding? Go get a life! Stay there and do not move. We must decide what is to be done with you. <sighs> Come back here! You're not even letting us explain all this! It isn't fair! Boy, on the way here they seem much friendlier. I just had to open my big mouth, huh? This is just a guess. But I think we're in what some refer to as the world of myth. What? Are you saying that somehow we've traveled into some kind of fairy tale? Not quite. 
That machine we found in the Cave of Time threw all of us over into this world. So you mean... The temple we saw today was the ancient ruin of the Red Dragon that we've been to before? Are you sure? That temple looked brand new to me. Of course. Because the Red Dragon is still very much alive in this world. So that's why those guys got mad at me. It makes sense now. The warrior class of Airu guarded the Red Dragon with their very lives. It's no wonder they think that we're working against them. But we all still have our battle discs. I mean, if the Red Dragon hasn't been split apart yet, shouldn't these all just disappear? No, but they're already being affected. Remember how weak Dordikon was before? The battle discs are just fragments of the Red Dragon's energy. And now that both of them exist in the same exact place and time, it's created a paradox. So that explains why they have less power. Oh, I get it. Wait, I'm confused. But the question is, why did Orbiton want to come out here? And what did he want? In the legend of old, Titan tricked humans into attacking the Red Dragon while it was in a deep sleep. Choosing that very moment, one could collect every single battle disc at the same time. What? We can't let that happen! He's right! We've got the time. The legend can still be changed. Wait, what do you mean? If we can somehow stop the humans that Titan tricked from acting, we'll be able to save the Red Dragon. Huh? But if we manage to do that, then the battle discs will never exist in this world. You mean we would never get to be heroes? There'd be no need, because the Red Dragon would be the lone defender of justice in the world. But as long as there's peace throughout Arnia, that's fine. I still don't understand all this. But we need to stop Orbiton's plan, don't we? Hey! Anybody there? I've got something to tell ya! You really think you can explain this when you don't even understand it yourself? Well, when you put it that way... For all of us to escape from this cell, we need something with enormous force. Like an extremely powerful hammer. Let's hope there's still some power left in this battle disc. Birth! Feel! What's that thing? Feel. Go ahead. Whoa! He did it! Chico. All of them are gonna be okay, aren't they? Chico, Chico! Chico! Uh. Huh? What's that? place before huh it's him <laughs> all right don't move stop you're going after the red dragon aren't you stand aside i only follow the commands of the god titan whoa what is this guy talking about it's the infamous symbol of ultimate evil and right now it's controlling this man's mind these people must call him a god when they're under the control of his spell Looks like he's gonna attack the dragon. Oh, yeah? We've gotta stop him. All right. Birth, Grievel! Goody, goody. Now put him to sleep with Fire Mirage! Goody! Goody, goody, 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 goody! He should be out for quite a while. That was a very effective strategy even for you, Volkai. The legend has been changed. So is that supposed to be a compliment or something? Look out, Blue! Return, now! Well, well. 
So we meet again? <gasps> what did you do to them? Master Orr? And everyone else back at school? Who knows? You left them there. And then, I destroyed your precious little academy and left it in ruins. What happened to those who remained inside is anybody's guess. What? You'll pay! You're too late. The Red Dragon isn't gonna be destroyed now. Oh. So then, you're trying to rewrite the legend, are you? Huh? I just did it again, didn't I? Yeah, kinda. There's been a change of plans. Alert the duplicant immediately. What's going on? Sorry, I can't tell you. But just know that history isn't changing anytime soon. Yeah, what does that mean? The Red Dragon's destruction isn't merely a well-known legend. It's going to occur no matter what. Shoot! Metamorphosis! Julian! <laughs> but I really don't care about history. I'm only here to finish off you and your friends. You broke out of the cell? And who are those two? Your accomplices? Just look at those mechanical eyes! That thing works for Orby time! Mm -hmm. The Red Dragon's in imminent danger! Everyone, protect the temple! What? Do you truly expect us to believe you? Tordeon, no! <laughs> <laughs> This is bad. How am I supposed to get those guys to believe what I say? Huh? Hey! Gaidu, are you okay? Gaidu, what's happening to you? Wait, I've heard all about this. Some of Gaidu's people have this power. They're able to manifest aura wings. Only the Chosen among our people have that ability. Is it possible that you are related to the Iodon royal family? Go and protect the Red Dragon. You must make your way to the temple. Now hurry! We understand. To the temple! Aye! <laughs> Useless fools. Volkai, come on! Huh? Hurry! We've got to use every last bit of strength! We've got to stop Orbiton! You got it! Go, Blue! To the temple! Right away! I'm on it, Blue! You won't escape! Hold! You shall not pass! Get out of my way! <laughs> Sorry. Volkai, did you see that hero, Blue? It had to be my father. Then let's go, Blue. What? Tordeon! <laughs> now birth, Ilarion! If all of the disc monsters have truly had their full power returned to them, then the Red Dragon's end is almost here, and the legend will now be made reality in this world. <laughs> Bring me back. Go to Volkai! Right! Okay, come on, Volkai. Please, protect the Red Dragon. <sighs> if the humans cannot do it, then I have no choice but to complete the task for them.
can't shoot. What if I miss and hit my father? You're finished! Huh? <gasps> 